let me start with, with the economic point and as I emphasized um, a very simple one. The question is simply um, how can you acquire wealth and how can you become richer? And there are two ways of acquiring wealth and getting richer. The first way is what I call the productive way. And there are three simple principles involved. Um, the first way of acquiring additional wealth, becoming richer, is you engage in what is called original appropriation of goods that were previously unowned. So we begin, so to speak, with the beginning of mankind. There's just one guy out there. And how can he get richer? Um, so the first thing is he recognizes there are outside some things that he regards as good for something. Uh, and he brings them under his control. Um, and obviously he does this only because he thinks bringing them under control will make me better off than I would be if I would not bring them under my control. That's the first way of getting rich. Um, I should also mention that the first person who appropriates something that was previously unowned by anyone does not in any meaningful sense take anything away from somebody else. Everybody else had the chance to appropriate that too. But they didn't recognize it or they were at some other place. So they, nobody can claim in a way, this guy stole it from me. Uh, that would only make sense if somebody else had already control over it. But if it is a resource that was unowned before, this guy is wealthier than he was before and nobody else is made worse off. You're all familiar with this so-called Pareto criterion that says how can we improve social welfare given the fact that we cannot do interpersonal comparisons of utility. And the criterion then says uh, one person must at least be better off and nobody else must be made worse off. So this original appropriation fulfills the way I interpret it, fulfills this criterion. What is the second way to uh, become wealthier is to then engage in productive activities. That is, use your own physical body, use those things that you originally appropriated, and then transform these materials into something that you consider to be a more valuable configuration of material than the point from which you started. Again, you would not produce in this way unless you thought the transformation of material was beneficial to you. It might of course be, be the case that looking backward you come to the conclusion Oh, I tried to build this and then it collapsed on top of me and I was not better off, but I had hoped that I would be better off. So looking forward, any act of production is of course also enhancing the welfare of somebody, uh, of, the, of the producer himself. And again, if we now look at what effect does this have on other people, we can say if the producer did not, in the course of producing, physically damage what other people had appropriated. Leaves the physical integrity in place. Then we can say again, one person is made better off by this act of production. There is now a more valuable good in existence that previously did not exist. He is better off all the rest of the people have just as much as before, provided that no physical damage has occurred to whatever they claimed as their own resources which they had produced or they had originally appropriated. So that's the second way of becoming richer. And then the third productive way is to engage in 
a voluntary exchange. So what I have produced, I exchange against what somebody else has produced. And every voluntary exchange benefits actually two individuals, both exchange partners, otherwise the exchange would simply not take place. Again, of course, only ex ante, that means looking forward. Again, I can be disappointed about what I acquired. Um, but looking forward, uh, I expect to be better off giving up whatever I give up and acquiring what I acquire. And the other person must have opposite preference orders, uh, but he must think of this exchange in exactly the same way. So again, we can say in this situation, two people are better off than they otherwise would have been, and the rest of the world has just all the goods that they previously had, so nobody is made worse in any meaningful sense. So these are the productive ways.